Hey, what is going on, internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit about creating your own custom lens flares here in After Effects without using any plugins like Optical Flares or No Light Factory. So, here's kind of what we'll be creating. Just this little lens flare right here, and I'll be talking about some of the elements that you can put together to kind of customize your own lens flares here in After Effects. So, let's go ahead and let's just jump into this and let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a new solid by going up to Layer, New, Solid. And we'll call this one Lens Flare. And we'll click OK. And let's go up to Effect, Generate Lens Flare. Let's add the built-in Lens Flare effect right there. And here we have the very, the most beautiful Lens Flare you've ever seen in the world. And we have three different options here, the 35mm uh, and the 105mm. Uh, I'm going to stick with the 105mm. Uh, I just feel like this is a little bit simpler compared to the other two. But of course, I suggest you guys, you know, play with these three presets and build your own lens flares, but we're going to uh, base our effect off of this. So let me go ahead and just center this up in our comp, just kind of see where this is going to be at. And if you enable uh, the title saves, go over here to the, this little crosshair here and, and click on title action safe. And you'll see the title saves popping up here. So maybe the first thing I'll do with this lens flare is I'll change the color of it by going to effect, color correction, curves. And we can go ahead and maybe go to the red channel here and maybe bring this down a little bit. And you can play with the curves a little bit to manipulate the color that you want. And I find like the curves effect is probably the most intuitive. So I'm kind of just bringing down the reds and greens here. And then we'll go to the blue channel and maybe I'll bring that up to kind of see where we're at. But I think for the most part, that looks pretty cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new solid. And let's just call this one streak. And let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drag right across, kind of like this. And I forgot to change the color. So let me go back up to layer, solid settings, and let me change the color of this solid. Maybe what we'll, maybe we'll do like a bluish, maybe a more of a purple-ish color. And that should be fine. And what we need to do is for our mask here is maybe like grab uh, the right vertice here and we'll hold down shift and kind of bring this to the middle here. And let's go ahead and grab like the left vertice in the left corner there, or bottom left corner. And bring that to the center and let's go ahead and just like take this leftover point and adjust it kind of like this. And this will allow us to kind of have a streak. I know it looks kind of ugly, but we're going to work on making this look pretty. So let's go ahead and go to the transfer mode here. If you don't see the transfer mode, just toggle switches the mode here at the bottom. And let's go and change this to add. And things will kind of blend together. And let's make sure the layer is selected and hit F on our keyboard to bring up the mask feather. And let's increase that by a little bit. Maybe that's a little too much. Uh, maybe like 30. And finally, what I like to do is go up to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And this will kind of add a nice little punch to it. Uh, maybe what we'll do is increase the glow threshold a little bit. Maybe increase the radius by a touch. You know, maybe like 80. And maybe increase the um, glow intensity. So a little before and after. All right, so things are looking pretty cool. And maybe what we can do here is we can duplicate our streak here. And we maybe we can lower the scale a little bit. And maybe we can hit R on our keyboard for rotation, and maybe we can, you know, rotate this a little bit, maybe scale it down a little bit more. And, you know, there's, that's where we're at. Maybe what we can do again is duplicate this layer, hit P on our keyboard for position, and maybe move it over, and maybe we can scale it down a little bit more too. So we kind of like have a double streak here, and, you know, things can look pretty cool like this. So let's talk about moving these elements together. So what I'm going to do is go up to Layer, New, Null Object, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the position here and grab the position here too. So hit P on your keyboard to bring a position for everything for the three streaks in the null object. And let's all click the position here and let's grab the pick whip and parent it to the position of the null here. And let's do that for each of the streaks. Probably should do that first. But here we are just grabbing the pick whip and parent it to the null. And then for the lens flare, let's all click the uh, uh, flare center and let's parent that to the position of the null over here as well. So now if we move the null, our lens flare will move with that. So all these elements will react together and that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and control the brightness of all these elements uh, on the null object. So what we'll do is we'll select the null object, go up to effect, expression controls, and we'll grab a slider control. And we can call this one uh, brightness. And let's uh, go to our three streaks here, hit T for opacity. And let's all click these and parent them to the uh, slider controller here at the top for brightness and just parent that to the slider and let's just continue to go through here and do that 
And as you can see, the streaks went away. So what we can do is go to the slider over here, and as we increase this, the uh, opacity of these streaks come back on, and things look good. And there's been one little uh, change because of all this parenting. Is this the smaller streak here kind of got moved back in the center? So what we can do to fix that is go up to Effect, uh, Distort, and add the Transform effect. And this will give us like a fresh set of parameters to move this around again. So, so let's grab the crosshair for position and let's just move this over a little bit. So as you can see, the streak kind of comes back in there. And that's just because all the parenting we did kind of reset the position for our streak. But that keep, but this allows us to you know put it back in place pretty easily. Let's say we wanted to lower the opacity of one of these streaks. So maybe like the big streak we wanted that to be a little bit softer. You know what we can do since you know we can't just come here and lower the opacity because it's dependent on the null object. What we can do is go into the expression here, and we can do like minus 40 or something minus you know maybe 30, and it'll you know just subtract 30 percent from the uh, you know, the 95% of our slider here. So we can kind of control the opacity of each layer by subtracting whatever percentage points that we want to subtract. And then now what we can do is maybe hit P on our keyboard on our null object, and maybe we can start keyframing this a little bit and, uh, you know, create some animation. Maybe we can move forward a little bit, maybe go to five seconds, and we'll just animate this to do whatever. Maybe there's some text here. Obviously, in my demo, there was. Um, and then let's go back to the lens flare and let's go up to effect blur and let's add a Gaussian blur. And, be, you know, I think it looks really nice when you can blur these elements out and, you know, see how soft that source looks. It's not as intense and, you know, it looks really cool. And I forgot to do one last thing. It was to parent the flare brightness to the slider control at the top here. So let's go back to the null here. I'll click the uh, flare brightness and grab the pick whip and parent that to the slider. So now the entire lens flare will flicker doing whatever we want and what I'm going to do is I'll click the slider here and type in wiggle and maybe we'll do 1 comma 40 and basically it's going to wiggle by 40 percentage points every second that's what that means so here and you see this is starting to flicker and for the most part we have a nice little lens flare maybe the streak over here the this one can probably be moved over a little bit just because it's a little bit weird and maybe I can lower the opacity on it so go into there go to the expression and maybe say minus 50 or something make it a little bit less intense but with these parameters set this is how you can kind of create some custom lens flares so this was a quick tutorial you know if you're going to actually use built-in lens flares effects and customize them be sure to uh, you know experiment and see what works for you guys and maybe create certain shapes and stuff like that. You don't have to do just streaks. You can do like stars or whatever. Um, and, you know, hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Just, you know, how you can parent everything up and kind of create something that's cool that you don't have to pay extra money for. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more After Effects tutorials. And please be sure to check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope... You have a good day.